Hello and welcome back to Blood Magic. Now, recall in the first few episodes, um, we used the divination sigil to see um, our sort of life points. So we can see we've got 9,000 life points in this tier one blood altar. Um, if we then right click when um, just simply at the air here, we can see we've got 5,000, which is the maximum capacity for this weak blood orb. Um, we can also see that if we um, use a sacrificial knife here, take off a few hearts there, take a look at the blood altar now, we can see we're up to 9,800. Okay, so that's all um, well and good, but what do we do with these blank slates? Well, let's have a look at that. Let's just check briefly that we're in recipe mode, um, and we'll put this slate in here. So if we take a look at the recipes, you can see we've got the water sigil. This was an item that we created before. Um, it takes 100 uh, life points, and the lava sigil takes 1,000, both for source blocks of water and lava, respectively. Now, we also, of course, made the divination sigil there. Um, so the two items that I want to look at are going to be to, uh, for the next level of Blood Altar, and they're the Blood Rune, which are created like this. We can use stone, or we can just use artifice, um, um, obviously it's in Horizons here. Um, and the other one is the Speed Rune, um, and you can see we need a Blood Rune for that, and sugar, and again we need a, a Basalt Marble. Um, yeah, in fact, we can't, yeah, we can use regular stone can we use regular stone here? No, we can't. So it's going to be something from artificial... Oh, no, we can use regular stone. So this is a higher level item, the speed route. And what it will do is it will make um, the tier two of Blood Altar work better. Okay. So as it happens, I've got a couple of these here anyway. So let's place them down and see what we can do with them. Okay, so what I've done here is I've basically put nine uh, of these, um, eight rather actually, of these uh, blood runes down. Um, and then in the middle you can put any block, I believe. Um, probably has to be some kind of solid block, maybe it's different with uh, transparent or opaque blocks. Uh, and then all I do is I put the blood rune, uh, the blood altar rather, down here. Um, and then if we look with the uh, divination sigil, we can see it's a tier two. Capacity seems to be the same. Um, and if we simply do the sacrificial knife, we can see... Um, can see it's going to fill up again and we can also do uh, similar with a speed uh, rune let's put one of these down put down the eight blocks here and do I have any normal blocks there's some grass uh, we'll put that down here and we're going to put this down here as well fill it up a bit Okay, so we can see, let's look at what we've got here. So 7,000, fairly consistent, tier two. And we've got 4,400 consistent uh, tier two as well. So what is the difference between these two? Well, let's try making a weak blood orb again. Um, to do that, recall, we used a diamond. So let's get some diamonds out here. And we're going to see how that gets along. So we'll put a diamond in there. Uh, diamond in here. And let's have a look. So we should be getting... I might need to just fill this one up a bit more, actually. So we should be getting the weak blood orb out of these. So let's see which one is going to complete first. And of course, as you would imagine, it should be the speed one. There's the speed one. And the uh, the other one is still not finished. So yeah, as you can imagine, anyway, um, it's pretty obvious by this uh, demonstration here. There we go. Um, that um, you want to be using the speed runes. So yeah, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to uh, carry on... Uh, talking more uh, about these in the next episode. Um, we're going to do, focus more on the tier two uh, altars. If we look here, we can see still got 5,000. Um, and one other thing that I could do perhaps before we end, which is another kind of interesting side, which as you move on, you do you do uh, get a few more of these. Um, if we just take, uh, take this out, uh, if we look, uh, if we look with the divination sigil, it still says 5,000. If we do this, I wonder if it will add it on. No, so it seems like you can only really have one of each. Um, but if I throw this one away, let's have a look. Interesting. 
All right, well, I'm going to think more about this. I'm not sure you're really supposed to have two of them anyway, because um, it doesn't actually get used up in the recipe much the same as a Philosopher's Stone. Um, but yeah, um, until next time then, thanks for watching.